Welcome back, guys, to Trails to Azir, where last episode we finished off the Chapter 2 Day 3 Crossbell Patrol at last with the Back Alley Entertainment Admin and Harbor Districts before entering the IBC, where our last support request, Dolnapt, has now begun. But I say, no one's in. Hey, look who it is. Nice to see you, SSS. It's been a while. Do you remember us? Both of you are members of the IBC's technology department. Clay and David, I believe. Good to see you again, too. You guys seem very busy. Well, you know how it is. The old net's really taken off, so our system administration work has piled up big time. If we don't follow Lady Marybelle's instructions to the letter, we'll be in for a real thrashing. <laughs> I see reporting to Bell remains as difficult as ever. Good luck, you two. Thanks, we're gonna need it. Oh yeah, Lady Maribel has you guys on the hunt for her stolen dolls, right? Fingers crossed they turn up soon. Chief Roberts has been extra hard at work on the Epstein Foundation floor from what I can tell. Apparently, he's trying to track down a hacker who stole some blueprints for Orcus Tower. What would anyone even want with those anyways? Tough to wrap my head around. Lady Maribel really knows how to crack the whip and she's not afraid to either. But despite that, she still trusts us with a major part of the IBC's infrastructure. It's on us to step up to the plate. Oh yeah, Lady Marybelle has you on the hunt for her stolen dolls, right? Fingers crossed you find them soon. Yeah, fingers crossed I do. Hopefully it's not going to be too complex. No pom party in a burning room complex, do you know what I mean? Uh, yeah, play this. Would you want to play a game? Is that in it? That's what's going down. Hey, look, it's the place where I did three events. I uh, but only one counted, which was Randy's. Uh, which room you in? So I can go to the other room first. Good. That's where they would be. I mean, we're going to check this out anyway, but... Bell, it's me. Ah, right. Come right in. Thank you very much. It's good to see you again, Bell. Hello, Ellie. Special support section. I heard you returned to town last night. Tio, how have you been? Fine, thank you. Glad to hear it. I understand you have a busy day ahead. What with the trade conference this afternoon? Best of luck to you. Thanks, we'll do what we can. I take it you're not planning to be at Orcus Tower yourself, then? That's right. As my father's stand-in, I can't very well abandon this pile of work he left behind at the bank. He'll be on his own when it comes to handling his conference duties. And on that note, I think I owe you all an apology. Perhaps it was ill-conceived of me to call you in on such short notice, especially on top of your other obligations. Don't worry about it, Maria Bell. You've helped the SS out, S out so much. This is the least we could do to pay you back. So someone swiped a few of those antique dollies you've got, right? Mind giving us the lowdown? Of course. As you might know, I've been an avid collector of Rosenberg dolls for years. I've been keeping five of them here in my personal room at the IBC. However, someone took the opportunity to steal them last night while I was away on business. Five dolls, every one of them a Rosenberg. They must be worth a fortune. The larger ones would fetch at least a few million mirror at auction. This goes far deeper than monetary loss. I'm a mother whose precious little darlings have been kidnapped. And I want that despicable crook torn limb from limb in the middle of the Harbour District for it. Uh, easy now, Maribel. By personal room, you mean the one right next door, correct? That would mean the thief slipped past the IBC's world-class security. How is that even possible? Um, uh -huh. yes, I thought it rather peculiar myself at first. Once I found out what was left at the- what, uh, Once I found what was left at the crime scene, whatever confusion I had was immediately dispelled. How so? I think it'll be faster to simply show you. Take a look. Ah. Wait, is this... A calling card from Phantom Thief B? Indeed, the elusive filter who's stolen countless works of art from all over the continent. Rumor has it he employs mysterious magics to perform his heists, and he always leaves his calling card the scene of the crime. Infiltrating the IBC building is a feat only he could pull off. And from what I hear, you all had a case involving him earlier this year. Isn't that right? You, you did? Indeed. Last time he stole a statue from the former City Hall building. In the end, we failed to apprehend him. Oh, now he's back for round two. 
Sounds like you four got into all kinds of crazy hijinks before we joined her. So what does the card say? Allow me. Dear ladies and gentlemen of the special support section, the little ladies whom the young madame adores are in my compassionate custody. Should you seek their freedom, throw open each of their cages, five in all, with the keys of truth. The first cage lies within the city. Search the throne of the constabulary's famed scrutineer. So, do you understand now why I had no choice but to call all of you here? Yeah, this is a direct challenge from Phantom Thief B to the SSS, which means we're the only ones who can handle this. He really stole five priceless dolls for serving this petty. This guy's a nut job among nut jobs. Whatever his reasons are, he didn't have to involve Mar Mariabelle. We ain't gonna let this one go. I wholeheartedly agree. Those Rosenberg dolls mean the world to you, Belle. Thank you, Ellie. I leave this in your capable hands. Okay, before we start the investigation, I want to go over the cooling card again. First, the little ladies part. Obviously, that's referring to the dolls themselves. Always a genius. As for the five cages, that must indicate that there are five separate locations, each hiding a single doll. So what you're saying is we'll have to search for them one at a time. Uh, I'm already dreading how much of a pain this will be. Well, we can limit the first cage within the city. Apparently, it's at the throne of the constabulary's famed scrutineer. That clue is the key to our first doll. Anyone have any idea of where it's pointing? I mean, it'd be ML, though. Scrutineer, why do I feel like we heard about something along those lines not too long ago? On no sense that we were thinking it. Let's just go check whatever spots come to mind. I'm expecting great things yet again, special support section. Find my beloved little ones and bring them back home to me, won't you? Of course. We won't let you down, Maribel. I'll keep the clue from the card in the detective notebook for good measure. We can use it as a foundation to build our investigation off of. Dolnet has started. I see that. Well, then, Thief B has stolen five of my Rosenberg dolls in total. The loathsome cad. I'll never forgive him for kidnapping my precious little darlings. You know what to do, SSS. Bring them home and that scoundrel to justice. I don't think we're finding said scoundrel anytime soon. Wild paintwork has been burnt, though. Thank you very much. It kind of makes sense that they have a car book in here, considering. So that is a Melda, right? Screwed in here. She works in an antique shop. Trying to think who else that could be. Brum. <laughs> Quick detour. More power. <laughs> Tio Tot needs it, right? Guess I'll speak to you directly then. So, the SS has finally reassembled her. Uh, I look forward to what your group pulls off this time. I'll end up finding out about it one way or another. No? Okay, I was totally wrong. <laughs> Who's what? You heard that term recently? Uh-oh. Then how did I miss this? <laughs> oh, the throne of the constabulary's famed scrutineer. Oh, you mean the CPD? Oops. <laughs> I just, I didn't even look at the blooming first bit. I just heard scrutiny in on your ass, Melda. She works in an antique shop and you have to scrutinize things. What? The throne of. I am very good at this. I wonder if he's Chief Sergei's desk, to be honest. <laughs> because that's the only direct person I can go to. I can't go to Dudley's place.
Stay with me and the police. Oh my goodness, how have I got this so wrong? Throne means chair though, right? Yeah, <laughs> okay. <laughs> Didn't we hear that Chief Sergei's old nickname was Sergei the Scrutinous? That make his desk and chair the throne of the famed scrutineer. It's worth a shot. Let's look around. There's something under his desk. Let me try taking it out. Well, third try is the charm, I guess. But is that a trunk? It reminds me of the one Kia was in when you found her at the Schwartz auction. I bet him choosing this place as the first location was just an extra taunt for good measure. Yeah, he even used the chief's old nickname. This guy's clearly got a number. Anyway, let's check it out. A car is affixed to the backside of the trunk. The second cage lies outside the city. Search the harvester's heritage found off the ramshackle road. So it's old Armorica Road. Right? It's probably the Farticus place. The heritage means like an old site. So it might be the ancient battlefield path. There's no mistaking it. This is a genuine Rosenberg doll. Yes, I've seen it once before. His name is Kanan, I believe. Belle loved this one dearly. She names her dolls. Even Maribel has a sweet side, doesn't she? I'm a little surprised anyone would bother putting something they'd stolen in a trunk like this, though. Anna VB is supposed to have some kind of deep appreciation for beauty, right? Maybe it's his way of showing respect. As for a second card of his, it sounds like we're going to have to venture out of city limits this time. Sheesh, we're going to be running around the whole damn state at this rate. Our hints are Harvester's Heritage and off the Ramshackle Road. The wedding comes, calls to mind somewhere rustic and old-fashioned. The polar opposite of a modern place like Croswell City. That sounds about right. What do you say we take this first dolly with us and get to searching for the second? Yeah, let's go. We're going to be carrying around like a billion chests. Cases. Suitcases, one of them. Words. Okay. Our marker it is then. I wonder if this guy's moved or done anything yet. No, okay. Ramshackle Road. So I'm expecting it to be in the next tab. Not on this side of things. And I can't just tear on through because I'll just run into guys. But a box! <laughs> Ah, uh, no drops. Yeah, it's not going to be here. Funny if we just saw the chess. So I'm expecting it either to be the Fardicusy place, because that was even mentioned today. Could be the rest stop. My assumption is very much here, though. My yahas. Well, there. not there yet. I may as well uh, check around just a little bit, just in case. Hmm. Eight honey syrup five. You've probably just gone to the fork now that I look at it. You've probably been better off doing that. Oh, look what's unlocked. The gate is open. As I recall, this property is owned by Armorica Village and isn't normally open to the public. Perhaps they left it unlocked. Surely not on purpose, right? Other way, check it out. They've got monsters wandering in there again. 
Watch your step while we're looking around. Aye, aye, Captain. Surely I can beat them up a bit. I'm not too high level, right? Yes. I'm slightly worried there might just be 15 billion of them, if you know what I mean. Barnacus Place. This quest is bigger than we expected. Strange hand standing monster sprays a strong smelly gas that confuses the senses. Oh, they have confused. They're weak to fire. I don't want them to have confused. Is that chest on the left side? It's full of these guys. Good job of this. <laughs> Good job of this. Well, there you go. The second trunk was here of all places. Search the harvester's heritage found off the ramshackle road. As I recall, this property has been used by Armorica Village as a storehouse for generation after generation. So it must have been Phantom Thief B who opened the gate without permission. Ah, oh, he can't go anywhere without stirring up trouble, can he? Anyway, let's take a look. Cars to fix to the backside of the trunk. The third cage lies outside the city. Find where one stands with their back bathed in the goddess's shining visage. So it's the cathedral, right? It's what you'd imagine. Bell calls this doll Liete. I could never mistake it. We've got another one of those cookie riddle cards too. The goddess shining visage. That may be our best hint here. The bathed in part is telling as well. It would have to mean the visage is exceptionally large. Uh, let's go have a look around then. There has to be some place that fits the bill. It's either there or it's the boom temple. Well, I can't imagine yes. this, it would be the Moon Temple because you'd have to do another quest. Or maybe that was the way of leading us into the quest. Which actually makes a ton of sense. Okay, I got one in for the attack, did I? I can't attack anyone or I'll knock them out. Wait a second, if I, uh... Excellent, good shot. Oh, it's fireball that's hitting. It's good fireball, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Beautiful. Nice fight. Bea beautiful. Okay, two got. We still need to fight everything here and get all the treasures. We'll leave that last one because then we can recharge on my C P afterwards. <laughs> Once the chest is defeated. <laughs> Hmm. So again, I kind of want a raging spin and grab them all in. Oh, the spell wouldn't hit that one guy. Ha! Then I'm using up my stuff. Oh, he's dead anyway. This has been a terribly arranged set of spells. Hi. I have no excuse. <laughs> I just have enough damage to win. I obtained Celestial Balm. Great, right after I finally got new stock from Mr. Hayworth too. Sorry. Yes. Sorry, sorry. 
駆動行きますドライブ開始俺の番だなさあでは行くぜはっ Time for a p e Unless that one definitely guaranteed to be dead. Yes. Not too bad. That's the way back out. So there's one more Spartacus. Just legging it. And then、uh, the challenging chest. I'm gonna tear the cap out on. 195's not enough. All right, here comes confusion danger. We actually have a single thing that protects us against confusion? <laughs> no. Well, we either get screwed or we win. <laughs> oh no, it's not them! It's blowing up! Seeds! <laughs> Kick out the coin, indeed. Uh, well, we can all go all out. Guessing if I summon Zeit, Zeit wouldn't be anywhere near in time. It would just delay every enemy and then it would be like game over. <laughs> if it does come out before, like earlier, I'd be surprised. No, it's way down there. Uh, yeah, there's problems here. All right, we got one seal. I want Death Scorpion. They don't do much damage to us, but it's about when they blow up. Does way more damage than anything else we can do. Yeah, by the look of it, Zeit's got the rest. They're weakest to stone and second weakest to fire. So I can hit a heat, heat wave right in the middle here. <laughs> I think Randy might explode a bit. But that wasn't the hard one to do. <laughs> What do we get as a reward, though? Septim Bane. Did you hear about the time Phantom Thief broke into a r k a n s i e l I'm told he stole the spotlight. I'm sure he did. So it's 2 1. Wondering what I might want that in place of on anyone in particular. Yeah. Maybe the move one. I could take it. 
Right, well, that's all the Farnicus is defeated and the chests in here obtained. That's nice. Riddle 2 completed. Now we need to find a gigantic goddess. Which, of course, makes sense to be in the cathedral outside of city limits. But at a weird push, could be the moon temple? <laughs> that's how I look at it. We can rest and get our stuff back as well. So that's Stop! Cool. We check the cathedral first, because that's uh, yeah, no. definitely the safest place. A fish fillet. Which is probably still the reward if I was to give uh, cop cat food, if I'm right in saying. Which is why I haven't been giving cop any cat food. It's why they being specifically food for a cat. Okay, all the way over to Crossbell Cathedral. Maybe I'll drop a save again. I don't know how this is going so far. But yeah, so I don't think there's a big statue here of the goddess. So unless they specifically mean the church, it's really going to be the moon temple, isn't it? Hold the phone. You give the cat cat food and it gives you a fish fillet. Yeah. I don't know what you find complicated about this scenario. <laughs> Back bathed in the goddess's shining visage. That honestly sounds like from the light, you know? Welcome, is there something you require of me? If it's a sermon you're after, I can make time for you. S sorry, that's not why we're here today. Man of Thief B's card mentioned the goddess's shining visage. Maybe that was referring to the stained glass window here. This is indeed. Which would make the one who stands with their back bathed. I don't understand what's going on right now, but if you have business with me, I must ask that you state it clearly. Right, sorry about that. Our Bishop Araldo, could you do us a favor and check under the pulpit? Why would I do that? Now, now, don't fret, we aren't up to anything suspicious. The SSS explained their mission, after which Archbishop Alalda searched under the pulpit. There it is. The card is affixed to the backside of the trunk. The fourth cage lies outside the city. Find the road of iron that snakes under the skirt of the western ramparts. Okay, so it's Tangrim Gate? No, no, wait a second, it's Belgard Gate. This, this must be Mistle. Belle loves this one. I'll bet she does. At any rate, that brings us up to three dolls. J just when did that get there? I do leave for business on occasion, but never long enough for someone to do this. Uh, the goddess works in mysterious ways? Back to the card. This clue is as perplexing as the rest. We could interpret the ramparts to be some sort of defensive structure. If we include the western part in that, we get the defensive structure in the west. That's one interpretation, at least. There's also the road of iron that snakes under the skirt. Uh, yeah, I don't have any idea what that means. Another figure of speech, I imagine. That's a safe assumption. All right, let's take this trunk with us and begin our search for the next one. Phantom Thief B. I've heard of his exploits before. He sounds to be quite the scoundrel. As a faithful servant of the goddess, I cannot forgive such insolence. Do whatever it takes to bring this man to justice. We'll try our best. The thing of metal, I was thinking it would be like the outside passageway. what I'd have thought. 
Man of Thief B, to think you would try and hide his spoils in this holy cathedral. He's just as much of a scoundrel as people claim him to be. Okay, I will bring him to justice. No one else has anything to say about this, though. I mean, technically, he steals the things. But he doesn't take them or do anything with them. So I guess Phantom Thief B would be like, where's the crime? <laughs> I gave it back. I just moved it. Okay. Wending underneath its skirt. <laughs> I mean, it could be the train. We can read the sign from the back. We're really good. I was thinking it might be more along the lines of... Uh, the external passage. But I am wrong. It is metal, of course. So it's the last bit of it we got to kind of figure out there. At the road of iron that snakes under the skirt of Western Rampart. Oh, no, no, I know it is. So it definitely means the train station, the train tracks. But it's outside the city. There's a part of the city where it lowers down, isn't it? Or there's part of the train tracks that you can walk up to on the western road. That's where it's gonna be. I still don't know which side is nearer to it. Don't know if this fishing dude we've uh, got the stuff for yet. Well, all right then. Mind if I take a look at your fishing notebook? Do I have all the stuff yet? Nope. What do I need? Just, you're the one with more fish? Okay. How many was it again? <laughs> hey, there. I mean, once you get to the <laughs> western rampart, it's kind of a bit more obvious Stop. from there. Oh, yes. The iron going away from there makes perfect sense. I'm assuming it's there. Which might actually take us to a new dungeon location. Like, I was like, why is there an entry? Will it actually take us out to somewhere further afield? Oh god, I better not be wrong. Unless I'm supposed to look out from the bit on top. This is the closest I come to the place? Oh man. Might have hopped past it. Funny if I have to go to the train. No, it's outside the city. It very much said outside the city. Hey, go! Stop! I run straight past this thing. <laughs> well, that's confusing. <laughs> The road of iron that snakes under the skirt of Western Ramparts. Sounds like it's talking about the train tracks. I have come up to every near point of the train tracks outside the city, I think. 